so long. How have you been? I've been good. I've been really good. Good. You look well. You look great. I know. Plus, I'm celebrating. I got the number one reggae song. So, you know, I'm feeling you know myself. You, you, congratulations. And, you know, you know Thank when we you. do these, you have all the questions already. <laughs> I was going to say that as my opening line. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, you got one million views in less than 48 hours yes <laughs> wow you know so for those who you know just to recap you know you you're basically number one on the reggae itunes charts thank you yeah i'm feeling good i've been celebrating <laughs> I've been, in jamaica i'm gonna say me i've gone with myself i've been going with myself <laughs> I see that. I see that. I've been checking out all the stuff you've been doing. You know, I want to just say again, congrats on this. You know, you've done, you know, you, you literally, this is a great song. We had it playing just before you came on. And, you know, it's a song that it just basically does make you want to go down there. And Definitely. You have to wine go down there. You know, when I see you, you know, when I see you, Reshma, you have to wine go down there. You know, I'm going to teach you. And I'm going to say, girl, I need you all the way down there. And then one question I have is, once I am down there, what do you do? Because <laughs> I couldn't get back up. I oh, you really can't get back up. <laughs> that was hard. You, you got to work on the knees. You have to have strong knees. Not strong knees. Strong knees, strong abs, strong ass, strong waist. All Everything got to be strong. <laughs> Boy, you're, you got some athletic dancers by the way i do so i need to pick up all the dancers that was in the video um team all the dancers there was so many different girls even from jamaica i have to pick up all the girls you know they did extremely well and pick up yourself great pick up my, pick up my nice clean self <laughs> nice clean self nice clean self who has two of the most successful dance or international dance or acts on her new song. How does that That's make you feel? Um, it's an overwhelming feeling, to be honest. I feel extremely great. I feel extremely great because it's a, it's an, ex, it's, it's an iconic moment. It's a historic track. I keep telling people how grateful I am to know that me, Grace Hamilton, brought the two big legends together on one song on my album. So I've been celebrated. I've been really hype. I have the number one reggae song in the world. So I'm a bit not going with myself. I feel good. It's a great good feeling. And it won't be the first time that you've broken some records and been the first and everything. You know, you really are someone that is doing this over and over but this is a big one and you know when the song came out i did see sean and shaggy and you chatting and i saw that sean was saying that shaggy actually sent him this track and he put his vocals on it and sent it back literally like the next day i mean the next day we did 24 hours definitely because shaggy and i was on the track first and then when we sent it to sean paul the next day he recorded and sent his part. So I was like, from I heard the song, to be honest, I knew it was a hit. And then when I got the two legends together on that one song, I knew it was over. We've had this music video for like almost a year now, been waiting and pending because I wanted to wait until closer to when, you know, the pandemic was getting over. Yeah. We're getting over this horrible moments because I know that it's a happy, exciting song and you want to whine and go down there. I never want to buy a wine with the depression. <laughs> Even though I know that a lot of people are still going through it right now, I know this song will cheer them up. My Instagram page is flooded with girls just whining and having fun and that's the aim. That's what I wanted. You just kick out the depression. I can just yes. tell you that. That's <laughs> for sure. Like that day I was like, let me check turn this track on and you know like you said we're going through a rough time and but as they say it's big Jamaican saying nothing before the time and I think this is such a great way to because you know we're all adapting we have to adapt and you know we still have to have fun and that's one of the greatest things about dance and that's one of the greatest things about artists like you you know you keep making us move you keep putting that energy in us you know, I want to I want to talk a little bit about the new album because you know you, you have Shaggy and Sean, and now Shaggy's producing the new 
album that's coming out, right? Shaggy is definitely my executive producer for the album coming out. Um, my fans got excited when I said Shaggy is the executive producer. I myself <laughs> is excited as well. I'm so sorry because... I'm actually in a changing room talking to you right now on the mall. I've been running around like crazy, trying to put everything together. And why, do, I, why do I believe that? I mean, it's how, it seems like, you know, this is, we, we've done this all the time. No, you're no, running. No, but I'm, I'm, I'm dead serious. Let me show you what Reshma, so people can respect the hustle and know what's going on. I'm in a store. I'm actually in a boutique. And because um, I was here with my stylist, they're getting me dressed and prepared for a shoot. And I, I told them, I said, listen, at 4 p.m., I have to stop because I need to go on Vibe magazine to talk to Reshma. And so that's why I'm right here. And I want people to know the behind the scenes of, you know, the hard work and the dedication. And that's why I'm even telling you that in between me celebrating the success of this song, you know, I've got so much going on and I just have to delegate and, you know, I have to put you know, the pieces together to make it happen regardless of what you have going on. So I'm always still working and I want people to see the behind the scenes of how hard it is, you know, to make it happen. Well, you know, I think that if there's someone who keeps it real, Spice, I don't think it gets more real than you, you know. I've seen you many, many times doing the same thing, lead up to some fest, lead up to a stage show, you really put your heart and soul into it. And, you know, we've had these conversations. As a woman, you literally even, you know, you invest all that money back into entertaining your fans. i never seen you coming out in just a T-shirt and blah, blah, blah. Like you I tell people all the time. And, you know, I, talking to you as someone that can attest to, like, my Sumfest performances, I tell people all the time, I charge Sumfest a lot of money that's comfortable enough that i can talk about but i never really made a profit from some fest and i always thought people I always walked away with a profit from some fest and it doesn't matter how many millions of dollars joe bogdanovich paid me for that. <laughs> i never gain because i give so much back to the performances to the set to the outfits to the stage entrances you know just the creative the, just creating the performance you know I Yo, I have fans to have a good you, show. I've seen you come out in hair, in heels, like in a stuff. bubble, <laughs> on a bed. And this time, this time I saw that you did a, a a launch party in ATL for this video shoot. Oh yes, and you know you were decked to the nines as Cleopatra, Cleopatra, the strong the man, strong men bringing out the queen. <laughs> yes, yes. Part by the way, my boy. <laughs> uh, well, we will edit some stuff, but <laughs> but, but yeah. I must say, you know, that was amazing. But then, what happened with your dancers, Cookie Monster and Tahiri? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't want to talk about it because when we talk about it, we cry tears. Like it's just so hilarious. I'm about to post a video with them. So of course, you know, they're they're my official dancers. But they don't live in Atlanta, so they never got a chance to rehearse nor, you know, go through the other re the rehearsal process with the other dancers. They flew in on the day of the show. And I said to them, listen, when you hear Sean Paul part, that's when you enter the stage because that's the second verse and we're going to do a big freestyle. I bought them these big gold wings, excitement. They were in their costumes and everything. But because Shaggy was officially in the building right there, <laughs> They saw Shaggy um, at the actual venue. So they were looking out for Sean Paul himself to be there as well. But Sean Paul was in Jamaica. But I told them to listen to Sean Paul boy. To Sean Paul boy. Oh, and, and they, they were looking. Oh, my gosh. So, but I must say, big props to you because you gave them their moment in your kitchen, which I love, by the way. Your kitchen is amazing. I love how every time you have that, you have a video release or something, you show it on your fridge. And by the way, your kitchen. So all the people that were talking about, oh, now they know not to eat at people's house. Let's talk about it. My house is always clean. That's why I'm always in my kitchen because that's where you eat. It's one of the cleanest place. Let's talk about it. It's nothing to wipe off your counter when you're finished. I'm not no nasty girl. So my counter is very clean. Let's talk about it. Clean like grace. I never seen a kitchen that clean. I saw your dancer do a head top on your stove. <laughs> I tell her forget her because if she ever break my stove, she'll have to back. You I'll... put the 
Wait on that. No, but, that's... Uh, that day was the day when we really found out that the song hit number one in the world. So I didn't care. If I could have reached on my house top, on my rooftop, <laughs> I could have gone up there, go wine. Anywhere we catch, you know I'm a Jamaican, so anywhere we catch for wine, we are wine. Well, shout out to Tahiri and shout out to Cookie Monster because they got some moves. You know, I was thinking, you know, that shit is so hard. They should have a dance hall uh, competition in the Olympics because you literally have to be an athlete to do that. I agree with you, but the, uh, we actually having a go down the dance competition coming soon. I'm working on the grand prize right now because I want it to be very grand. I want it to be the biggest I've ever given away. So we are going to have an all-island and an all-world <laughs> dance challenge for Godonde. Definitely. Well, I, I, do, ladies. I do recommend those who can't do it, don't bother giving up your day jobs because that shit is <laughs> hard. And I almost <laughs> bust out both my oh. kneecaps trying to do that. So when we meet, I think I need, you need to send your uh, dancers to me. You probably need more than that. <laughs> ah, I, I didn't say that. I thought about it in my head. It just came through my mouth. <laughs> ah, ah, I see that. Well, in that case, I see. Well, talking about wine, let's move on. I, I'm not offended. As you know, we know each other for a while. And you're right. I do need more than just my your dancers. But anyways, we won't let get them, <laughs> So for all the people, let them be clear how far back we go like we are actually friends apart from you being at work that's why i'm teasing you so i know just, you are let me just be clear to all the people out there that reshma is a great supporter of the jamaican culture she's been coming to jamaica for numerous of years we've done thousands of interview she was also the host on um, what song was that where we took over Apple in New York? What, yeah, that what was when that you promoting? did the homage to all the dance of females. Yes, when we did the homage to all the females. Call. You were the host and we took over Apple building. They, I big up to Apple, they gave us that entire building in New York City. So we have a history, we're great <laughs> friends and that's why I'm troubling her. I know, that's why. But you know what they say, Grace? Don't trouble trouble because trouble might trouble you back. <laughs> that, that's true because you know I call a girl on stage and I told her, I said, You can't whine. From I look at you, I see you can't whine. And if you ever see how she whine and go down there, she can whine <laughs> she can whine better than me. You need to get her you employ her as one of your dancers. I saw all those people coming out for I you. Know. You have fans. You have <laughs> fans, girl. I definitely do and I appreciate and love them so much. You know, I'm talking before, I just want to say something about the why, you know, as you know, I'm also the reggae and dance or curator at Tidal. Shout out to the Tidal Massive. Big up Tidal. One of the first playlists that I made was a fine wine playlist. And you have been the face of it until now. Oh, and wow. You know, still the face of it. I'm it, honored. It, I'm and you honored. know, it's, it's become one of the most popular playlists on the platform. Uh, why am I not surprised? But I want you to, I want to know why whining, why are people so infatuated with whining? Why, why do people love it so much? I can speak for myself that whining makes me happy. When I, it doesn't matter what problems I have. When we hear a song, I'm ready for whining. It just give me that vibe and that energy. It makes me feel happy. So for me, whining does give me that vibe. And, and talking about title, you know, a year, this time a year ago, I actually bought my, dance or column murder she wrote to title and you know you were the person that you were the feature that kicked it off it was this time last year you had just and we were celebrating women's month and you know we just got into the pandemic and i i say all that to say that as a woman in this industry which is a very male dominated industry you really have paved the way for a lot of females because we're seeing a lot of females right now and we're seeing a lot more than there has been in the history of dance definitely because we really have started. been at the forefront of paving that so big up yourself thank you so much i like that little jamaican top big up yourself too thank you so much i appreciate it i accept my flowers with, with gratitude great and it's nice to have those flowers when we can smell them right definitely definitely and I want to talk about friends because we are friends, but I hope we're not those types of friends that you put out. Exactly. Have you, those friends. What type of friends? 
Um, I have to say, Spice, you have so much love, but that video and success on that video, congratulations on that too. Thank you. You have a lot of love, but those visuals are pretty powerful visuals. They are, they are powerful and they are relatable and they're also things that I've been through. It's sad enough that, you know, when I go through stuff, you know, I'm, I'm just, I don't want to say bad lucky, but I'm just one of the persons who have encountered a, a lot of bad friendship. People who come around to tear you down, people who come around just for, you know, the, 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 um, the, the highlights and, you know. People will do anything for the clout and, you know, you just have to pick and choose who to keep in your circle. And that's why they say, choose your friends wisely and, you know, make sure that the energy, you know, nobody coming in your energy negatively. And because that affects how your, your success, how you are towards everything. And you also, you're a mother, which, you know, I can't believe what Mom. all this that you're doing, you're showing, no huh? wonder you're in a dressing room because... There's so much that you're doing, but you're doing it. And I guess, you know, bringing the wrong energy into your life is bringing it into your home too. Definitely, definitely. And that's why you got to be careful who you bring into your home. And that's also in my friend's track as well, you know. So you got to know who you're bringing into your home. But Spice, you've got daggers and scissors and people giving each other lizard tail in their split. <laughs> and they're burning you at the oh, split. Lizard, oh, shit. something Does popular. It get Jamaica. Lizard tail is something popular in Jamaica. It's, a, it's said that if you smoke the tail of the lizard, you will go crazy. And friends, you got to be careful when people make your weed for you. Because if they make the weed and put a lizard tail in the weed, you can go crazy. Kinky. Mad. <laughs> <laughs> well, you haven't, even though we've known you as Mad Gal Spice, I want to I want to talk about this pandemic because we've all been, including your fans, and I know you've been, you know, you've been talking to your fans and keeping them entertained. But I know the pandemic has been hard for everyone, literally 2020. And even now, we're still going through it. But you have still found a way to keep going forward. Sh shout out to you. You dropped your new fashion line. You introduced you. your new lover to us. You've got a new home in ATL. Happy to hear Love and Hip Hop is back in production. You know, you really found fine ways. It's amazing how you can turn a bad situation into a positive situation. I love the way you turn I Feel Away into a t-shirt. I know, and it has been selling like crazy. Um, to be honest, I'm mad to take that t-shirt off my website because I keep selling out so quickly and I have to go back into production in making it. So everybody really loves that I feel away because it looks like a lot of people just feel away. I feel away. I have to speak my mind. I feel away. Yes, and you do speak your mind. And you know, but I, you know, I just, I feel like you've been doing this all your life. You've been turning bad situations on a slightly serious note like bad situations into good ones you know right from the beginning i've sat next to you when you've told me the story about your house burning down as a child having that one knapsack on your back you know you deal with colorism even your album captured i'm glad to see that you've worked things out with your record label but it, there has been a fight for you to deal with and you have always found a way to kind of flip it and it's been a hard fight and definitely I have found a way to flip it. And that's why I say to my fans, my besties, big up my besties. I say to them all the time, use me, and ex use me as an example because I have really like literally been through so much. But nevertheless, I've never stopped once. I've always just kept going. I've kept going, kept working. Even I feel like I get the hardest fights as a black woman in the business, but I always just still keep going. I never, ever felt like giving up. And that's why I want them to know that consistency is key. Hard work is key. Mankind is not God. So don't let anyone speak any negativity over your life. Because right now, I'm just living a moment of proving them wrong. Well, as the Buju would say, it's not an easy road. Not an easy road. <laughs> but, you know, you are someone that gives us all strength. And, you know, a lot of people actually have read my work and stories that I've covered about you. And you know, when I meet them, they always say, I love Spice. 
I love that she fights for this and fights for that. And they come to me and I know that that must be a big thing that you are flying the flag for all these disadvantages. And you know, the other end, you're still here. You're still smiling. You still make us feel good. You still make us want to go down there. Definitely go down there. That's the song right now. So yeah, I'm just always that happy bubble person, no matter what. And I don't take anything serious. I literally laugh at everything. So yeah, I'm just a happy person. You are. And you know, talking about fight, I know we don't have much more time, but I want to just say, you know, you didn't say this publicly. I know you didn't do it publicly, but I have to give you props for helping towards Sister Charmaine's funeral cross when she passed away earlier this year. You know, RIP Sister Charmaine. You know, for those who don't know, why did you feel it was important to do that? She gave me my career. I can openly say that. If it was for, you know, women like, you know, those legends who paved the way, there probably wouldn't be any spice. Right. And, you know, I... and. I would like to say that where I, I am someone who has listened to a lot of, you know, dance hall and, you know, she was someone that was a pioneer as well. And I love how you actually got inspired by that song and did Fight Over Man. Shout out to Dave Kelly anyway. You did. Oh, Dave Kelly, big up baby sham. You know the tingo. We always keep positive. Always now forget where we come from. So big up baby sham. You know the single, right? And he's got his he's got his new song, Lockdown, actually, that I put and on lockdown. my list. It's a lockdown the place. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All that to say, you know, I love how you have paid homage. Again, we're coming back to the whole female thing. And you really are that female who has been paving the way. I mean, I've seen you clashing at Sting. I've seen you literally clashing at Sting more than once. Yes. Kenya, can I tell you? How far back I am a career you've been a part of? Because that was like what ten years ago, like years ago. That was the old spice. I it's, there's no old spice, but you have all of those things, and you've evolved with it. And you know you're an international star, but you really still you're relatable to everyone that I think you have been relatable since day one. So you know it's a, such a nice feeling. And I feel like everybody is celebrating with you right now. Go down there, number one on the reggae IT. Let's talk what do you have to say? Me, mm, go down there, why not go down there, mm, go down there, why not go down, why in for me good and sweat a drip off of my body, yeah, oh, you feel so good that they might right this right there. But I want to say, I'm just humble, I'm grateful, thanks for the support, people have been buying it on iTunes, continue to buy my song, let's keep it in the number one spot. I mean... I feel like Bob Marley. I keep on listening to that. I feel good. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with feel good. And you know, I'm Bob happy. I'm excited. I create it and I as, feel good. I'm more celebrate. Well, you are celebrating and everyone's celebrating with you. And as Bob said, when it hits you, you feel no pain. pain. Exactly. So go down there and do those wines because if you feel the pain, just yes. hold it. Just yes, hold it. <laughs> definitely. So big up everybody. I see Boom Shots. I said big up. Big up to Boom Shots. Big up Vibe Magazine. Big up to my dancers, the entire team, management station, King, the entire whole production. Tracy, everybody. VP Records. Big up yourself. Shaggy and Sean Paul. I couldn't have done this without you. Big up on yourself. Two, le two legend. Right. And shout out to Sean, who's doing his latest album as well, Live and big Living. Up Sean, live and Living and everything. You don't know. And yeah, before right. we go, just want to say, what should we expect? Your new album is called 10, right? My new album is called 10. The first song that came out on my album was Friends. That hit the charts one day when it came out. It went number one as well. The second song that came out was Go Down There. So Uno can just imagine what will come after. It just hits after hits. It's a great album. Shaggy is the executive producer. It's not getting better than that. I'm being led by a legend. My act, my feel good. My act. How did that link up happen, by the way? I'm sorry, I'm just telling you, but I talk Jamaican. You looking like you, you looking like what is she saying? No, no, no. I think we have a delay. I think we got a delay on this. Oh, oh, because I, I thought you were wondering what I was saying because it freezed for a moment. Yeah, I froze. Sorry, I froze. You know I hear you. I understand everything you're saying. I want to just, 
I know we have to wrap up, so I wanted to get to the point. I, 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 I do want to quickly ask, you know, what's it like working with Shaggy and how did that happen? Because I couldn't have imagined you two even being paired up together, but it's so great to see that. Working with Shaggy has been amazing. I tell people all the time, if you come to send me a face product, your face can't full a bump. Your face has to be clean and clear. So the fact that Shaggy is such a legend and has so many hit songs, he's able to lead me, direct me, you know, in the studio and stuff. But, you know, if you if you never sing a hit song, you can't tell me, tell me what to do. You can't come to me with foolishness. So working with Shaggy has been extremely amazing. He's humble. Um, sometimes I forget that, oh, my God, it's a legend. We are very down to earth. We work together well. You know, his wife and I have a lot of history. His kids and my kids used to be in the same class. Well, his daughter, I'm saying kids. His daughters and my daughter was in the same class. So we have a great chemistry. It's like a family. And I just want to say, big him up. Mad love and respect. Big up Rebecca, his wife. Mad love as well. Because there were times when I could call anytime. And he's Rebecca. He's with Rebecca. Never get a screw face always receptive and welcome and that also helped me to create with the legend you know so i have to give respect to his wife as well nice well you know what they say behind every great man there's also a great woman so it's yeah. always and it's teamwork and that's what you're also saying there's teamwork and it's sh shout out to the veterans who are actually using their time their experience to teach because as they say teach one to teach yes. the other, to teach the other, right? And now my hope and dream is that everybody in dance hall will just start to unite and come together because together we're a greater force to be reckoned with. There's so many people out there who's taking over our genre and claiming it. So now it's time for us to come together. And that's why I'm even so elated that this track is doing well. So I hope that it will inspire other artists in Jamaica to come together and just make great music. Right. We'll respect for you and by the way before we go you said we're friends right you yes said we're friends we so are we friends go, we go back a long way we're not yes. those friends but we're not frenemies we're real friends real friends we go back a long way i want to say thank you for always supporting our work too because that makes a big difference on the people you know when we put our energies into things all that to say not going to end on a depressing note. I want to end on the fact that after you said we're all friends, you must give us something exclusive that's coming on your new album because you're not leaving just like that. But I don't want them to hear them. <laughs> I know you don't. I don't want them to hear the other. Oh, by the way, I saw that one of your videos, you had an English accent. So... <laughs> I did. You know, when I speak proper English, we're going at a British because a lot of people don't know I used to live in England. So I can leave you with the British voice if you want that, you know? No, no we want a exclusive something. Triple this, or right this, or off this, or yeah. Mm. That's it? Don't pretend like you froze. Because <laughs> I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I got, when i see you again i give you a piece of what's, what's on the album <laughs> all right girl i'm gonna hold you to that you know i am anyway you look amazing you look great. congratulations one more time and i love you when we see you love you big up yourself appreciate you. you love you too Big up all my good. fans besties i love you guys so much thanks for the support i really appreciate it Mwah. all right Bye, spice.